to the Zoltaeus Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Zoltaeus. Here with a Pathfinder video. Now, you all remember Kingmaker. It came out not too long ago. Uh, allowed you to do a lot of different things, but it brought, you know, a feel of Pathfinder to, to a computer game. You had the ability to conquer the Stolen Lands, actually have a kingdom, rule your realm however you wanted. Uh, you had the ability to build what you want. You had the ability to customize your characters how you want. Uh, combat was very much like uh, old school D&D games, uh, and it made sense because Pathfinder is an extension of D&D. Uh, it's just a, a different platform. You had a lot you could do in that game. You, had, you could write your own story. Well, the producers of that game, Alcat, they, they are back with a, with a new game. It's called Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. In this, you are uh, a person who happens to come across a city in siege after getting a wound that can't be healed. Demons attack. They destroy what they call a ward stone, which is something that was supposed to protect the rest of the world from something called the world wound and now somehow you are able to harness that power you build armies and you take on the demons however there are some things that this power does to you this, there's things that power does to normal people and uh, it's up to you to decide how you actually respond to that power. And that is the new game. So what is very awesome about this game is that it doesn't differ so much from Kingmaker. As you can see, the, the gameplay looks the same. The characters move the same. They move throughout the terrain. Uh, it's, it's a very similar in feel game. And that's going to make it easy for people to transition from Kingmaker to Wrath of the, Ratchet, Wrath, Wrath of the Righteous. Unfortunately, there, it's not like part two of Kingmaker, right? This is a completely different game. And so there's, there's a lot of learning curve, but there's also a lot of similarities which make it easy to get into this game. One of the biggest is the addition of the mythic class. You can turn into things like liches. You can be an angel. You can be something in between, kind of like justice, called an aeon, where you, you try to balance good and evil as much as possible. You get fantastic new spells and abilities in this godlike state, where you can just destroy armies. Uh, it's It's very different, but the same at the same time. So as you can see, you, you still move them out around the map, the same as you did in Kingmaker. Uh, however, now you have armies that you control on the map. You uh, move them to places to take on uh, demon armies. You can position them to, to be ready. You can have multiple armies. You can have one massive army if you want. Uh, you can you can play it however you want, and that's how the Pathfinder games have always been. Now, as far as army combat goes, you actually engage armies, in this case the Demon's army, and it's set up a lot like uh, Might and Magic. So you have a grid where you put your guys, you position them how you want before combat, and uh, you can do a mass a mass of different things you can use a lot of strategy you even have spells or abilities that you can use uh, whether they're positive uh, for your guys or negative against the others that's up to you uh, it plays very much like that so it adds a strategy element so you can't just power through everything with your main character right you actually have to you know strategize how you do your how you build your armies uh, you're only going to have the bare minimum at the beginning as far as choice uh, for what types of armies. So 
you know, you, you have to make those strategic choices in order to get resources, in order to, you know, open up new areas. Uh, but normal gameplay is still the same. You still have to disarm traps. Uh, you still have to travel through areas. You will start normal scenes uh, against uh, big bad enemies and you will take them on, but you're a mythic. So you have the ability to take on these big bad guys. Uh, you can even gain new powers in the middle of combat. In this case, you can choose how you respond to that power. Good, lawful, chaotic, evil, or even neutral. You get that new power, you take down the big bad enemy, and uh, you keep growing in power. And it's almost like you're, you know, becoming a god. Obviously, mythic, if you know anything about Pathfinder or even D&D, all mythic means is you have god-like power, but you're not a god. But either way, you can, you can build that power. And in this case, you can, you know, change your alignment how you see fit. Uh, if you want to be a lich, obviously you want to be, you know, evil type. But now, you have the battle's over. You've gained new mythic power, so now it's time to check that out. You, you're, you're a mythic hero. Uh, you can choose mythic feats. You can see what you're going to get with the mythic hero at level three you actually get to choose the type of mythic uh, creature you become like the angel or the lich or the aeon and you know that's the majority of the of the differences between the two so lots of potential with this game and i'm excited for the full-blown uh game to come out right now it is in beta so uh, a lot of changes still to be made and a lot of suggestions still to be made. But that's going to do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.